Welcome to LEGO Science. This is the first installment of a series of LEGO Science videos. My name is Dr. Kathy Riddle and I work for the Idaho National Laboratory. So this first in our series, we're going to discuss something really cool. So you're wondering, why LEGO and science? Well, two reasons. First off, I am a research scientist at INL and also I am an amateur LEGO designer. I really enjoy LEGOs. It brings out the STEM in me. Science, technology, engineering, and math. So the best part about LEGOs is you can let your imagination run wild. And you can do pretty much anything you want. But you know how I started? I started with, very simply, building Atomic Town Power. Now, Atomic Town Power is really cool. And what I used to build it was the LEGO Digital Designer. Now, LEGO Digital Designer is a free download software that anyone can use. And what you can do with it is actually really, really cool. So we're going to learn how to use LEGO Digital Designer for our first video in this series. So as you can see here, I've got the LEGO Digital Designer up and running. I've got the new version, Mini Atomic Town Power, that we're going to take around to schools and different events for everyone to see in real life. And not only can you build whatever your imagination can come up with, but it will appear. You can hit that little icon up in the corner and it will build you a parts list for whatever you've made in the digital designer and instructions. So as we see here, you have your parts list so the different colors for each and every part and all you have to do is click on a part and drag it over to what you're doing. So you can see here I've dragged it over and it's moving it around. So there I've added a new part. So part by part you can build anything that you can come up with including Atomic Town Power. Now the really neat thing about the digital designer, it might take you a little while to figure, you know, figure out there are thousands and thousands and thousands of parts you can use to build anything that your imagination can come up with. But the best part about Atomic Town Power, you can turn it all different directions. And in this case, you're now seeing the back view of Atomic Town Power. Atomic Town is part of Atomic Town Power. Atomic Town needs more buildings. Atomic Town needs a spaceport powered by nuclear energy. It needs a seaport, a nuclear submarine, and of course it needs an Atomic Town National Lab. So here's what you can do. You can go to Digital Designer from LEGO, you can download it, and then you can build parts of Atomic Town. So that's the best part of designing with LEGO Digital Designer, is you can make whatever your imagination can come up with. So, your task is for this session to go and take a look at LEGO Digital Designer and see what you can come up with. Maybe something science, maybe something engineering, maybe something from space. Your imagination is the only thing you need to design on this software. So, that concludes kind of our little lesson here. It's one of those things you kind of got to play with it a little. Have fun building with your Legos. Get that box out from the closet and start building. And we'll have some more fun with Lego science next time. Keep building. <laughs>